welcome again to your app at session 3 i'll show you the complete guide of your path automation hub so if you are really interested to learn about your path automation hub then please be available from start to end of the session so that you are able to understand from scratch to the some expert level content about your path automation hub so without wasting time let's begin with your path automation hub so first of all what is your path automation hub and why we are using and why it is required a very important part of automation cycle so your path automation hub is a collaborative process identification automation pipeline management and process repository tool its goal is to accelerate and adoption of RPA across our organization by building an RPA community of interest. That this puts the employees in the driver's seat of automation initiatives. So their key factors or key features are process identification. That means share your own ideas or request of automation through this collaborative process identification tool. Then second key feature is pipeline management. So our company automation plans, the status, expected benefits and other important details are displayed in one single place. Check them out and express your opinion by uploading the ideas or requests. Then third is process and documentations bank. So a central repository containing all the key documents related to a process selected as a candidate for automation. Then fourth path integration with task capture. So automation hub is integrated with your path task capture, a process discovery tool that helps you to get details insights about automation candidates directly from our employees. Then marketplace. So you can also create store and search reusable components across your organization through the organization's private repository. Gamified RPA manage or change management support system created to motivate and craft longer term engagement for both you and the company. It focuses on the growth and achievements in gamified RP implementation field by using points reward badges and ranks. So let's see how we'll create the account in your path automation hub and see the complete overview of the dashboards, how it looks and where you will find out each components separately. So whenever you want to create your own account, simply click on Try UiPath for free. So I am already having account because of that I am getting this pop up. But if you want to go ahead and create a new organization structure, click on this and fill up all your details from here. After filling up, you will get a login credential page where you have to enter your username and password. After entering user credentials and creating an account you will be able to jump on this page from this page select automation hub and now we are inside the automation hub so let's see what all components are there inside automation hub so once you can scroll down you're able to see whatever ideas is already submitted and approved or in Awaited review. These all ideas are listed here. Maybe you can put the filter and set on employee driven ideas and click on apply. You will find it out whatever employee driven ideas are there. It's available inside this. But if you want to remove this filter and select for COE driven, then select and apply it. And you're able to see. CUE driven ideas are submitted here. You can also create clear out your all the uh, filters and even though 
you can select multiple filters at once like corporate ideas expense so whatever in the technical review those ideas are also listed here so you can see right now there is no technical review ideas uh, are pending so that's the reason not showing anything here now you can also find it out sort option like maybe you can uh, short with fees recently updated and alphabetical so if you want to go ahead with the fees uh, select fees and you can find it out the sorting option based on fees now here you will find it out check boxes which is applicable or which is related to your own credentials or logins here you will find it out share and ideas shares UE driven ideas and share automations these three options are available and there is a notification tab whenever there is a, any updates for you you can find it out inside the notification tab then uh, in these three dots you will find it out your view own profiles email settings user guides contact us whenever you will find any difficulties directly contact to your party and they will resolve you on a query within fraction of seconds terms and condition is also defined fax is basically handled for all the frequently asked questions user guides will help you on each and every component where we can access it and these are in the detail format so this is the major components which we can find it out and this is on top of your quick access menu here you will find it out workspace where you can create your own workspace related to your organization uh, then automation pipeline is also here my submissions my collaborations my components following all these components are here you can also create your own uh, with the organization dashboards now move to the dashboards dashboard itself contains automation program performance average automation cost planning report and cost report and in the admin sections you will find it out different admin controls where you can manage your users or people or with the roles and when you manage with the people you will find it out different groups are also there where you can see groups and inside the groups there are different roles if you have then it will be available otherwise you can add a different group as well inside the users as well if you want to add any specific user you can add it from here and if you want to download a cc view of this complete uh, user suite you can download it now there is a platform setup is also there where you can do categories app inventory document issues customization assessments cost setup import pipeline and open api is here so whenever you are adding any particular member you have to provide the permissions like related to the roles and the permission related to what they can access it after entering all the details just click on see and that role or the user will be added inside this your organization details then there is a manage component is also there where you can upload your own components or whatever components which is already uploaded you can view it just like activity centers once you click on this components you can download it and save it for your future reference even you can edit these components whenever it is required now let's go back and see so if you have submitted and that will move to the review you will find it of review content here and submit it contains here but if you want to upload it for your own components just enter the details enter the name details and specify the component type then component category then resources and after all this uh, you have to enter manuals media component upload then after entering all these details click on submit and that content will be submitted on behalf of your login credentials 
Now, explore is basically uh, you can do automation programs, people's where you can find it out whatever people they are available inside your team. Components list, what all components you are working on or what all components are available for you. Leader board is also there where you can find it out. Leader boards are where this is basically used for the competition. So if you are performing well and you are doing so it will be highlighted inside the points. So whoever is gain maximum point that person will be on top so admin controls will have manage users platform setups and manage components so that's all about the basics of UiPath automation hub in further session I will show you how to submit your own idea so that's all about UiPath automation hub hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this session, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.